The need to assess the various opportunities and the tremendous benefits available in the digital world cannot be overemphasized, particularly when the world is presently moving at a very high speed in the area of information technology. In keeping abreast with this technological advancement, especially in the education sector, the Lagos State Ministry of Education, Department of Private Education and Special Programs, in partnership with Global Education Media, recently organized the one-day seminar for proprietors, proprietress, teachers and stakeholders in the private education sector of Lagos State with the theme, Developing Functional E-Learning Materials. This seminar is one out of the numerous seminars and programs put together by the Ministry of Education and Global Education Media to ensure that teachers in Lagos State are not left behind in the various developments recorded in the education sector. The Director of Private Education and Special Programs Department, Mrs. Sewanu Amosu, urged private school owners to always keep abreast with the activities of the ministry, saying that the ministry is their friend and that the Lagos State government cannot work alone. You have to work on yourself, work on your class, work on every aspect of your school to improve your school. I also want to enjoy us that we want to take as much as we can. For many of us, we have set aside to also come to the ministry and seek to know exactly what the ministry wants from you. And I also want to also encourage you, if there are technical or anything, please come and call the parents who allow them to go. And that means you must also teach your children the vocational skills that are some subjects. At the program, facilitators took turns in sensitizing participants on the various aspects of the theme. Mr. Ibukun Daramola, who is the assistant director in the private education and special programs department, took the first lecture on how to effectively use electronic media materials for the purpose of teaching and learning. There are certain things in the, in the, in the curriculum that everybody should know about. Well, because of the limitations of the walls of the classrooms we have, not everybody can benefit at the same time. And so, when you have great internet, that same thing can become a benefit to several other learners. The question is this, how do we do it? We certainly have to know about the problems. It can become a distant learning program. That means here right here in Lagos, you can be sending the same message to people outside Lagos. It is the same material, the same nature, the same program going on inside more Lagos. The problem that some education is hard initially was that how do you create a feedback? And when we started this program, I asked you, how many of you give us a feedback? With visual learning, you can easily give us a feedback if it is properly programmed. If you always the same application at the right time. On his part, Dr. Ganyu Olaogun made it clear that academic performance only shows what an individual is able to do based on what he has learned. Therefore, it does not predict future capabilities. You have some learners who will learn best when they see. Is that not? Yes. So we refer to those learners as visual learners. You have some who learn best when they hear. You refer to those ones as auditory learners. And you have some learners who must touch, who must move around and play and interact with materials physically before they can learn meaningfully. You refer to those ones as the kinetic. Learners, you know, kinetic has to do with movement. So these are the basic uh, learning styles that we find in our classes. And so if the child goes to class every time to go and power or just talk without diversifying his methods of presentation, he might not be appealing to all learners in his class. And that's why he learning is a very good platform for meeting the needs of the different kinds of learners in our various classrooms. Other facilitators also did a good job 
of sensitizing the participants. What this uh, program is, this uh, today's workshop, is just our ability to bring in uh, the e learning medium, to bring it into our classrooms, to be able to use this effectively as teachers. Forget about children not knowing all this things, they know more than us. But we are trying to channel their own knowledge and understanding of these gadgets to suit learning. The program was interactive in nature as the participants and facilitators exchanged ideas. The participants also asked the various questions relating to the theme. Sir, do you agree with me that it is one of the causes of global massive unemployment we have today, especially in Nigeria? For instance, when you mention how so many centers can have just one teacher taking them at the same time. What happens with the other about 10 or 20 other teachers who are qualified in that area? What I like is, let's see how we can make life very easy. So the fear that is going to take over your job is only if that person is not ready to keep a place in going to happen. At what age do we even expect these children to bring phones to school? To learn with? Some of the participants at the seminar in an interview with Education Report on TV spoke on the knowledge acquired so far. I want to thank the Lagos State Ministry of Education for giving us this opportunity to have this vast knowledge on e-learning. As an educator in ICT, it has helped me a lot and uh, it will help me to impart more to the life of my children in the class in the area of ICT. Now we've learned from here now that a teacher can actually create a, a multimedia lesson for which a child can take home, learn with it over and over again and go through, you know, and give the teacher a feedback. This space, every child can learn. The low achievers, the high achievers, they can all learn at the same pace. We are achieving great res results. This is what is obtainable every all over the world. And I'm happy that it's coming to Nigeria. E-learning has no doubt become a cardinal program in the education sector with a mission to serve a development platform for present-day society based on knowledge. Therefore, the seminar organized by the Lagos State Ministry of Education, Department of Private Education and Special Programs, in partnership with Global Education Media, is a welcome development. The Lagos State Ministry of Education, Department of Private Education and Special Program, in collaboration with Global Education Media, presents a one-day seminar for private schools operators on marketing private schools for sustained growth. Date is Tuesday, 18th of November, 2014, and Wednesday, the 19th of November, 2014. Venue is Suburb Hall, Maryland, Lagos. Time is 9 a.m. Seminar fee is 3,000 naira at the bank for pre-registered participants and 3,500 naira at the venue on the seminar day. Seminar fee covers materials, lunch and certificate. Please make your payment to Global Education Media. Send it bank account number 101215107 or Sky Bank account number 1770448. 8099. Text your name and choice of seminar date to 080-33-232771 or 081-8760-9231. For further inquiries, please send a mail to info at legoschoolsonline.com or visit our website www.legoschoolsonline.com. You can also call 080-33-23. 2771 or 081-8760-9231. So, if you are a proprietor, a proprietress, principal, vice principal, head teacher, assistant head teacher, teacher, this seminar is for you. Be there. This is to inform all head teachers and principals of public primary and secondary schools in Lagos State to kindly activate the recently issued official email address.
by following these steps. 1. Visit www.lagosschoolsonline.com 2. Click on the Log On to the Web Mail tab 3. Enter your full email address 4. Enter your issued password 5. Change your issued password to enhance the security of your email address. For further inquiries, please call 080-3323-2771 or 081-8760-9231. Announcer, the Lagos State Ministry of Education.